What's going on guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. Make sure you like this video. Also share it. Subscribe. I'm going to talk about Big Sean. I've spoken about Big Sean before in a couple of different videos. Probably more on this channel. And I made one video in particular in response to something that he said. And he talked about toxic people and toxic energy. And that leads into this video which is in response to an interview he did with uh michael dyson on his facebook show and he talked about a couple of different things but the main thing he talked about he thought about ending it all due to the stress that he was going through in the industry he even talked about how he sat there with the uh, gun in his hand and he also talked about how he planned how he was going to divvy up his money to family members and this makes sense with the video he did on face on uh, facebook on instagram in 2019 this was when him and janae i believe broke up and then they subsequently got back together and he talked about toxic people and toxic energy. And I think that when you have a music industry, like the one that he is in, with somebody who seemed like a very decent dude, Big Sean seemed like a very decent guy, right? When you're around all those different types of energies in the music industry, you got to deal with the fact that there is a shift. You know, people are buying more digitally. You know, there's a different there's a different scale in regards to music. Like people aren't just buying a whole bunch of CDs anymore. And the taste in music is different. Almost. If you have name recognition, you may fare well. But if you're not one of these guys that can get on radio, if you're not one of these guys who can trend on social media, your music is not going to do well. And he dealt with that. You know, whatever was going on with his label, whatever was going on in his relationship, it drove him to want to end it all. Then the conversation in the clip that I saw is basically them talking about mental health because mental health is a very underrated problem in the black community. It's a very underrated problem. A lot of melanated men are dealing with mental issues you can just look at social media and you'll see it look at these news stories you can tell that something is wrong with a lot of melanated men and women too but we're talking mostly about melanated men we're talking about big sean and that needs to be addressed more but we're too busy virtue signaling you know right we too busy arguing amongst other groups who's the biggest victim instead of looking inward and saying we have to fix what's going on with the people around us because these people are crazy. That's what we need to do. And I understand where Big Sean is coming from. Here you have somebody who is talented, who's been successful, who sold records, who is is in a situation where he's not happy being an artist because you know you have to put in work i don't care what the conspiracy theorists say these artists still have to get in the studio they still have to travel to make money a lot of these artists have to tour to make money right they still have to work and he talked about how he had to work and that got to him to the point to where he just wanted to end it all. And that's sad because B Big Sean seemed like one of the, the one of the few genuine guys in music who you could actually say, I'm rooting for that person. That person's a cool guy. I remember watching him on Hot Ones. Uh, it's the, it's the, the YouTube show where celebrities go in there to eat hot wings. He went through that like a G, <laughs> okay? <laughs> he handled that like a G. I will give him that, man. He's a gamer. 
and that's what makes him even more likable. And hearing him say that he contemplated in it all is sad, man. But it just shows you the type of industry he is in. He is around a lot of bad energy. And when you mix that with expectations, what you want to do musically, the type of music you want to make versus what people are consuming, it gets to you because you feel like you're working hard and nothing to show for it. You haven't gotten where you want to get to. Your relationship isn't going very well. Now, he's worked to repair those things. He's worked to focus more on himself mentally, spiritually. It seems like his relationship is at a good place right now. Musically, he seems like, you know, he's 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 back doing what he loves. But it's just sad when you hear that he wanted to end it all. He he talked he talked about how he had it planned out, how he was gonna give money this place to this person and his family. Like it's it's just sad to hear, but it's a reality. It's a reality. And a lot of these celebrities don't want to listen to reality. You can look and see who has mental illness. There's a lot of blue check mark celebrities who don't have the guts to say, I have mental illness. I'm a pill popper. I'm an alcoholic. Cause like you got, I don't care what these people are saying. There are people, these blue check mark celebrities who have a lot of issues mentally spiritually emotionally they have a lot of issues but they try to act like nothing is wrong and they try to project their insecurities and what's going on with them onto other people and i like that big sean is able to take accountability and say you know what i have all these issues this is what i dealt with and this is what i was planning to do because of all the things i was going through and it's a very good thing that he didn't go through with it. It's a good thing that he is here to continue to live and do what he loves to do, which is make music. But a lot of times, man, when you're dealing with all these energies in the entertainment industry, the fact that the industry has changed a lot in the last four to five years, as far as how, you know, as far as record sales and you know, digital downloads, This the industry has changed, the, the, the music habits. Look at what music sells or look at what music trends and what music don't. That has destroyed a lot of artists. You can't tour. People couldn't tour last year. That's why they're hopping on OnlyFans. You got people that claim that their life is good. Why are you getting on OnlyFans for? You got people who clearly have mental issues, but they want to say, hey, nothing is wrong with me. Something is wrong with you, though. There are a lot of people who are not willing to admit that they've been in that same situation where they wanted to end it all. And you could just tell you could. I've seen posts from people who you could tell were depressed and they just wanted out. And they just, they, they hate everything around them. They're never happy. There's a lot of people out there that are never happy. Everything is wrong with them. And, and that's because they have not been able to get over the issues that they have. You have a lot of people, man, walking around. They're functionally crazy. They're functional, but they have mental issues. And there's a lot of these people who are functional with mental issues that they've never been able to address. And you, when you look at melanated men, we're dealing with that a lot. There's a lot of mental illness in the black community, especially with black men. A lot of those guys, I'm a lot of those guys, a lot of the guys that I'm speaking of, they clearly are out of their mind. Um, you can tell. Uh, you can look on social media and you can just tell the ones that are really out of it. Like there's something legitimately wrong with them. Like they seriously need psychological help, right? And you, and again, you can tell. But the fact that Big Sean is, if Big Sean is said, because you look at Big Sean's life, right? We don't know what happened before he got famous, 
right? The things that he may have gone through. He talked about how there are expectations to work hard, the expectations as a man to not be soft, to not be weak. But that's just the expectations of a man, period. You know, we all as men should work hard. I don't think that that should be something to you know, frown upon. You know, I, I just think men in general, we're here to work and build. But I don't think we should run ourselves into the ground. You know, we have to be able to have fun. We have to be able to relax. We have to be able, especially now in 2020, like it's a different day and age. We don't have to go as hard as we did then. Um, all we have to do is be creative. You know, people want to take the easy route and look for somebody to work for. Right. When you can go and start a business for yourself, all you need is an idea. All you need is skills. And again, I can respect Big Sean for making this transformation. Like not only has he made the transformation to find happiness mentally, but physically as well. He's gotten himself in very good shape. Right. Very good shape. So I think that this was a revealing conversation. I'll leave a link in the description box so y'all can go and check out what he said. And hopefully what he is saying can help someone else.